Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Tarp Life with Tara, and I am here with my friend John in Rockbridge County, Virginia. Uh, beautiful, beautiful spot here, and he has made a beautiful two ball machines. We're gonna go look at in his shop over here. Shall we go? So, how long did it take you to make your first one of these? Um, I would say to get it running perfectly was two years. Oh, really ah, it's here we go. Not running perfectly. Okay. So, it took two years to make this first one, and then you have another one. Yeah, the other one. Wait, wait, let's talk about it first. Yeah, we were where okay. all the balls were. Yeah. We so before we before we start making the balls, because we won't be able to hear you then. Um I had a jammer. Um Yeah, it took me two two years, really a year and a half to build it, but then another half year to get it to work. Um, and you've taken all sorts of parts from where where did you find your your parts? Well, there's only a few things in here that are made. Um, this fire extinguisher, right? And saw blades. And and when you're making these things, what that are you using? That was a salad bowl of Diana's. Now it has a bowl in the bottom. So your wife Diana's salad so bowl. These are from the music store. That is rhythm. Right, right. Musical instruments. So, but you know, the rest of it was made. Um, the little musical stairs are just, that's rectangular <laughs> tubing. It's one inch by two inch rectangular tubing. Perfect. Um, yeah, the trick on that is uh, any piece of metal vibrates just like a string. So I had to put the holes at the nodal points. So they would make a sound. And for the, the balls themselves, we have looks like pool. Those are just billiard balls. Billiard balls. Billiard and then balls. the orange ones here for our folks being inspired at home. This was a this is a damper. Uh, left to its own swinging, this pendulum will swing wildly and, and become a problem. So I put this device on just for the ball. So okay. So should we should we start her up or? It's what I have down at the bottom is a DC gear motor, and run it with DC so I can change the speed. Okay. This is how you start it. Here we go, folks. And uh, right now. Yeah, 
second ball machine. So how many years was it between you making your first? That one? was, um, this was made out of what was left over from that. Okay, so you started collecting parts. Well, I for, removed the top of that. Right, what had been up there gave you some other parts here. Yeah. Now, I, I loved, you said that these, these oxygen tanks here came from? My mother. From your mother, when she, she went downhill and we took that, but she said, oh well, what price is art? <laughs> so this came from mom. Uh, what are some other parts we have in here? Uh, we have Diana's pressure cooker. Pressure cooker over bottom here. Bottom there and top here. Fire extinguisher from the elementary school. Fire extinguisher in there. It doesn't catch fire. This thing is. Oh, that's the transmission from an old time Xerox machine. Back when Xerox machines cost a, you know, a year's salary. Right. Some people don't even think about saying the transmission of a Xerox machine these days, but there yeah, it is. There it is. Uh, yeah. Cool. So. And then, oh, one thing I love too is you've got a, a motif here of road time. So we've got 30 minutes parking, 40 minutes only. How long was he working on this? Or oh, 16, about 16 months. And he started it during a winter storm. And he started it in building it in the other building where there was, like, you could see daylight between the slats of the building. And he had long johns on and coveralls on. And he got off work because there was so much snow he couldn't get in. And he would get up at 6 in the morning and work till 1 in the morning. He just worked on it. He would come over once, usually to warm up and get something to eat and then come back and work on it. Way A real time. labor of love. Yeah. Obsession. Yeah. <laughs> Obsession of love is fine. Really, this, it's frustrating because I don't really get to use the building because these ball machines are stored here. So it limits what I'm able to do. Yeah. Like you can't pull your car into work on it. Right. Right. It's not a car garage. Well, folks. That was another episode of Tarp Life with Tara. I hope you enjoyed the amazing ball machines of Mr. John Schofield in lovely Rockbridge County, Virginia.